with um, just trying to sign up really young acts and get a little bit of that back into like, the music scene. Don't you feel there's enough young acts at the moment? Not really, no, not, not, you know, not really sort of teenage acts anyway. Mm. Even like the so, the so, you know, the so-called new young groups are all like more or less the same age as me or in their twenties, you know. Yeah. So I thought it was interesting to have um, some, you know, more, you know, real teenagers. You talk about youth having to get back its arrogance. What's that mean? I mean how can you channel <coughs> arrogance for good? How can you what? Sorry. Channel arrogance for good. There is a lot of arrogance in the music business, isn't there? Yeah, well, I'm not sure if it's the right sort, really. Yeah. I, I just, um, you know, I just can't stand all these humble pop stars, you know, and humble groups. You know, I just can't stand it when, um, when I read the group saying, well, we're just a pop band, right? And we just play simple pop music for the kids. And don't you know? they feel that way, really, do you think? Well, I don't know if they do or not. I just think it must be pretty boring people if they do feel that way. So you, you know? don't feel humble? Not really, no, but not because I'm in a group as well, you know. I think, I think everyone's got a right to, um, to feel a bit proud of, of themselves, you know. I don't, think that, I don't think you have to be in a group. It's like the same thing, it's the same thing when people you know, think they're special because they are in a group or in a music business, which is crap, you know. I mean, you should just feel special because you're you, you know, because of, the, because of the person that you are. Which I think anyone can, you know, you can apply that to anyone, to any profession you're in. I suppose it gets difficult if you're an adult or something, but, you know, I still think it's important for people to have their pride, you know, which is the worst, well, the worst aspect of unemployment. You've stopped writing about the crumbling of civilization. Is that because you don't think that music can change the world anymore? A lot of my friends think that you've sold out. Do they? I haven't really got that impression. Just some that I know. Really? Mm. Why? Because I don't write depressing songs. Right. What would you say to them, I mean? Well, you know, I try and put a few on the LP when it comes out. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I can't, you know, there's, I mean, there's, there is a lot, this is a very de depressing time we live in, but I can't see the point in wallowing, wallowing around in it, you know. So, I f and in, any, in any case, I felt towards the end of the jam, like the last sort of lot of songs I wrote, well, I thought they were very optimistic anyway. Just my, mainly because I just really tried to change my own personality and my own feelings towards things. It's just, there's just no point walking around like that, you know. So you're more of a hopeful young man than an angry young man these well, days? Well, you know, I've got, I've got hope and belief in some things, you know. I am, I'm not saying I've got it in the government or in the world. I'm not really, you know, I can't honestly say I've got it in a lot of people, you know. But there's certain people I've met, I and mean, mainly through being in the jam, you know, just different people we met over the course of the years. And people I now meet who, who make me, you know, who give me kind of belief and hope and, you know, faith. What's it like to be the boss, Paul? Well, you know, it's, it's good, good feeling, because I've always had this sort of power kick. You know, I like to have the, the whip hand. So I, mean, I enjoy that aspect of it. Are you a hard man? I am a hard man, yeah. Are you held to I'm a bit like a, I suppose I, I'm a bit like Captain Blythe of Pop. Yeah. Is that a cat's name in there? Nothing on about me, yeah. So what do you like to work for? Are you held to work for? I can be tough, you know, at times. But at the same time, I can be generous. You know, I've, I've given a... You know, I give them Christmas presents. And, uh, you give rewards if they're good. If they're good, yeah. You know, it all depends how many records they sell. You know. What happens if they don't sell many records? They don't get a present, yeah. You know?